Yo, 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 what's going on? We back at it again. It's just your boy, Kid Savage, with another Street Beef Reaction. Yeah, you see your boy got the shaving face, you know what I'm saying? The boy ain't got the rough beard no more, you mean? <laughs> but, nah, I got a little spot of uh, those who don't know. Eczema. Eczema is pretty much a skin condition where your skin kind of dries out and it makes your face or whatever part of your body that eczema is on look all botchy and stuff. Getting the work done. Getting the work done. But um, that's not why we're here. We don't give a fuck about my skin problems right now. Sorry about the harsh F word. We want to see some street beefs so i'm going to give it to you and in this one we got florida boy versus world wonder florida boy he's a guy that runs with uh my new the great my new talks about him a lot and uh i do remember seeing some of his fights i think i seen one of his fights on street beefs and then i seen another one of his fights on, on another pro uh, promotion yeah um from what I see, anyways, he's a, he's a grappler, and uh, fuck around and get wrapped up with him. You end up wrapping up with him for too long, you're getting your ass submitted off the rip, no questions asked. My kind of guy. You don't like that old being on the ground and just holding down position just for points and shit. So it's not. I don't know. I just can't. I mean, I could watch it still, but because you know, at that point for me, it's more like a, um, you know. Who got the better technique? Who knows the uh, better transitioning, better sweeps, better reversals, and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'll, I like the finish via ground and pound or submission, however it goes. And then uh, you got World Wonder. I don't really know too much about the bruh. Sounds familiar. I've probably seen this fight, but just don't remember. I got, that stuff like that happens to me a lot. So, you know, excuse me if I um, end up reacting to a video of yours and I've seen your fight. Just This is for future reference. You know, I seen your fight and I didn't forget or say something that contradicts what I have said in the previous video. Most likely, oftentimes or not, I probably forgot. So, with that out the way, and before you ask, how come I didn't get my hair done after shaving my face up? I usually like to do it myself because I don't like to put all that stuff in it. But, like I said, we're not here for that. We're here for a Street Beast reaction. We got Florida Boy versus World Wonder. Let's go. I ain't gonna lie, I am loving this. <laughs> Comment who you think won. My name's Florida Boy, I'm 5'10, 135. I plan to finish this fight. World Wonder, 125, 5'6. And uh, I'm hoping this will be a long fight, good fight, and I hope we can exchange a lot of punches. Street Beefs! World Wonder trying to drag it out, trying to make it grueling. fight of this month. Got destroyed last week. Uh, we had hurricanes, flooding. We had a big event planned, and then because we had to postpone, it, it made it so a lot of fighters couldn't come back out. Uh, so we we dealing with the weather warriors today. <laughs> weather warriors. In this corner, we got World Wonder. He's three and one in Satan's backyard. And in this one. corner, we got oh. Florida Boy. He's two and zero. Oh. Be safe, fellas. Fight on. Yeah, that boy, my new the great by you his ready? side. Come in touch gloves. Ride together, fight together. Touch That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> fight! Oh yeah, that flow looks slippery. Good grief. Well, Wonder instantly goes for the gear team, locks it in. Like I say, Florida boy, he's pretty experienced, so I don't think this is uh that much of a deal for him. We do need to get out that uh, position though, because uh, you don't want to be there. Well, Wonder had the uh, neck, but it seemed like he's starting to lose his grip. And now he's going to end up gassing out his arms if he don't realize the situation and let go. If I was him, I'd let it go and just try to hold him down because now he's in mount. He's turning to his back, and now he's caught in the rear naked. Triangle on the body, cranking on the neck and the body. It's painful. 
but it's not enough to make a fighter tap. He can still get out of it if he like calm down, start peeling off the arms, try to unhook that body triangle. But most importantly, get this get this worry about the arms right now because those is what's hitting you and trying to choke you the fuck out. Oh, I think he got it now. He got it in. He got it in a little deeper this time. Yeah, he looked like he done. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, so him and since I mean so him and Manu going at the sensation. They see something in sensation that um not a lot of us is noticing. I wonder what that is. Now it's making it even more interesting for when they do fight. Oh shit, that was a good fight all around, man. Shit. They um uh, didn't really throw too much strikes. They uh I ain't gonna lie, I'm judging because of the, the, the way the um the ground is or whatever. I don't think it would have been really much room for that anyways. Uh, you got to constantly worry about slipping and sliding or whatever. And then judging by if uh, that rain end up lingering until that where the point where they at, it turned into mud. And yeah, you ain't really got much room to like really throw strikes and then keep them, keep your foot and whatever. So that's kind of expected. But um, yeah, they got started. They, you know, threw a little bit, clashed into each other. And well, World Wonder instantly went for the, uh, the gear team. Now, he has it, but I'm not going to lie to you guys. Guillotines aren't necessarily a specialty of mine. I often have trouble with it just for the simple fact that when we do lock up, it, it ends up in a situation like how World Wonder had it where um, he had his arm in, and those can be a little bit more difficult to finish. So when he locked in the guillotine, that was the first thing I noticed, that he had the arm around the neck and then the arm in. And typically... You would want to finish that submission with, with the, without having that arm in on that guillotine with the arm around the neck and then another arm clasping that other hand just to make sure the pressure is even tighter with your legs wrapped around them. But like I say, I'm not really well versed in this, so it's probably extra stuff you need to do. But I'm not that versed to be able to be like, okay, you didn't do this and do that or do that or whatever. I just know for me, gear teams not, aren't necessarily something that I like to do. What I do like to do is what Florida Boy did, and that was the rear naked choke. Now, in that situation, well, I wonder if he would have fought the hands a little bit and then, like, start working on, like, working his way up from his, um, from on his stomach to his knees, then maybe he would be able to reverse the situation even with the body triangle. I've been in situations where I was in that same like situation in, in the gym and um, what I would do I would start by having my chin tucked first and foremost whenever somebody gets your back you, you're kind of it's almost like instinct at least for me that you should just like tuck your chin instantly so that way they they can't really do one of these they have to pretty much get you in a neck crank which is painful but it's not to the point where unless you're Conor McGregor it's not to the point where you know it's so painful that you just that it's unbearable that you just want to tap at least like I said unless you know you can record or whatever the case or unless your pain threshold ain't all that high or whatever the case but it's still a way to defend from it but after that stage after you got your, your, your chin down you want to start looking for the hand that's going across your neck you want to peel that hand before the other arm start getting to the point where it's locked in in this in this position because once it get like that, you can still peel this hand. It's just that I would prefer to try to peel off the hand that's around my neck. I would try to, I would prefer to stop any of that. Before I would prefer to stop that hand before it get to the point where it's up under my neck. So the first two steps, chin down, start peeling away from the hand up under the neck. If the hand is already up under the neck, even with your chin down, and this hand is starting to come up, the clasp in, to lock it in, start peeling down this hand so that way you can peel it down. I will hold it, have it down to the ground, get my stomach off the uh, off the ground, knees on the ground or whatever, and start slowly but surely like trying to shake him off, or at least to my knowledge, so try to like shake him off or try to like hold his arm to the point where I can like bring him around to where I can be in his guard and um 
you know, that's how I would defend that. Florida boy, like I said, man, he's pretty experienced. He's well-versed. I wish I could see more of the striking, but under the conditions, I get it. And then when you fight and, you know, you take you take what you can get. So I'm not going to be so hung up on the striking in, that, in, in, in this case because, you know, situation given and then how uh, uh, how the positions get give and take or whatever, like how you get to a certain position, like I get it. Like, you know, it started off, I think, I can't remember who it was, they had slipped. So they was kind of in like a sprawl position. So after getting up, they was kind of like real close. So in that instance, excuse me, it's all a matter of situational awareness and taking what you can get out of that situation. So it was a decent win for Florida, uh, Florida boy. He say uh, 3-0 and now. And him and Manu, they pretty much, you know, running through the, the ranks of Street Beats. I don't know. I feel like they did the same weight class. I think Manu may be 10 pounds more than Florida Boy. But um, I think Manu can get down to 135 as well, too. So that's an interesting dy- dynamic there because it's like, you know, you get both of y'all kind of fighting in the same weight class. So it's one going fighting the 125 and the other one going to fight with the 135 and 140s and 150s or whatever. I don't know. That's for them to decide. But they both calling out sensation, so they both see something there, obviously. I don't know what it is, but I'm not going to lie. That would be an interesting fight to see. But if you're new here and you don't know how things go, I am Kid Savage, Street Beast Fighter. And uh, this isn't just the thing I'm doing, man. My thing right now, reacting to Street Beast, uh, street beast fights or whatever. I see some people doing it, but I don't see like a consistent basis of people doing it so i'm taking it upon myself to be that person to do that um yeah i've still got more reactions coming you know i'm working on it yeah i took a break uh yesterday because it was memorial day so you know i wanted to give myself time for that and um now that that's over with back on the grind back on the ball back with these reactions to give it to y'all so you know, till next time, like Baby I said, always so I say. Keep it push it, metal guy, keep it solid, drop a snake inside the bush. I'm on board while they don't go, so they looking at me crooked. I got Zai, I got cookie. All my niggas, they gon' ride, they gon' put it.